Hello and welcome PML fans. I'm your host and head admin Joe Zamora here. And with me I have coach of the Augusta Agron, Ryan. Yo, what's up, PML Nation? It's your boy Ryan with the Augusta Agrons. How y'all doing? All right, we're doing good. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. I know this, this took a minute to, to get set up. I've just been like super busy the past couple weeks. It's all good. Hopefully, uh, during the season, it's a little easier for you. Yeah, I probably should. You know, uh, TPL is wrapping up, so should be able to focus on PML. All righty. Well, let's go ahead and start off with uh, your draft history. How's that look? I mean, so far, I haven't done too much. But I've been in the TPL, the Trico Pokemon League, for two seasons. Uh, I did secure a playoff berth my first round, first season in it. And um, I'm on the road to a second one. Uh, hopefully I don't get torn down by my uh, division uh, opponents. But uh, we'll see how that pans out. But it's looking good right now. All right. That's awesome. And uh, any other draft leagues done before? Or no, just, not just really. Those? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty fresh to the draft league scene. All right, man. Well, that's cool. How do you feel uh, PMO will be different from the other draft? Nah, I'm, I'm actually not sure. I mean, it's going to be kind of cool. Like, I see some familiar faces around, some new faces. Um, you know, it, but I'm, I'm looking forward. Like, we're going through Facebook, to, uh, so I don't really... Uh, Cool too much with it too much but um i got discord and uh hopefully we'll get some good communication out and i'm um, looking forward to see how uh the shorter draft league will impact uh some of the team building um the new rules i think it will be really interesting i heard we get 10 mods which is going to be insane um we're trying to prep <laughs> so <laughs> i'm looking forward to that i'm going to have options my opponents are going to have options and um, it's, it's going to be very interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. All right. And you actually fell into the second pick uh, since we've had to shuffle people around a little bit. Um, who do you predict you're taking number one? I can tell you right now I'm taking Excadrill. Excadrill right out of the gate. Yep. That's one of the best uh, Pokemon that I've seen perform in a draft league format. It's a very strong weather abuser. Can set its own weather. Uh, it's dumb strong. If I manage to get a sand abuser with it, uh, I don't even have to use this Dynamax to set up its own weather. So um, I'm predicting to be able to put in some super good work with that. Uh, it does have uh, electric immunity, which is super awesome because uh, one of the best ways to stop a good Dynamax user is Thunder Wave. So I'm looking forward to using Drill. I know I kind of sniped Ryan out the gate, but I did let him know in advance, so <laughs> hopefully he's got a plan B. All right. Well, what made you choose your logo? Oh, man. I, I hit this guy up, uh, Xenon, I think his name is, and um, I was just uh, hit, hit him up in, uh, like, I think last year? Yeah, yeah. I hit him up, and I was like, hey, man, can you make me a, a Draft League logo? And... You know, it took us it took a minute. Like it, it took a, about a week of us like going back and forth, and him picking my brain for ideas. But but all of a sudden, uh, that's what we settled on. He shot me like a really great guy. He shot me like a whole folder full of like uh, little tweaks and edits to the designs. So, um, but that's what I went with. Agron's one of my favorite Pokemon. It's very it's a very strong Pokemon. It looks like a freaking tank, man. So. Oh yeah. You know, I love Agron. It's a really cool Pokemon. I don't know what kid didn't fall in love with it in Gen 3. What was that? I said, I don't know what kid didn't fall in love with it in Gen 3. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, I, re I remember running through Emerald, and I always pick up an Aeron in the cave at Duford, and just like that thing just walled things. Even as an Aeron, like, had a huge defense stat in game. Such a good mod. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's my surfer. Would you ever change your logo? Uh, man, I'm I'm rolling deep with the Agrons right now. I have my own merch. That's like, awesome. I have, like, pins. I'm actually wearing an Augusta Agron shirt right now. So, uh, probably not planning on it anytime soon. That's awesome. A logo you can keep forever. Yeah, it, it's really nice. All right. Well, how do you feel about the tiers? The tiers are interesting to me. Like, I don't, I don't have them in front of me. Um, but I, I only, uh like um 
went over them briefly. Dang, I really wish I had them. Um, but they're interesting. There's some, like, there's there's obviously some mods that, like, I don't think should be in certain tiers. Um, but o overall, I think it's going to be an interesting experience. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to learn, like, all the rules with the draft and the tiers. Like, I know we can only have, like, one mod from each of the certain tiers. Um, you know, A, I can't get Tyranitar and Escadrill because they're both in tier one. So that's my first complaint. But, <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll figure something out. Um, I heard I'm getting the first or the second, second. draft pick all around. Um, so that means I'll have round one and round four like the first uh like tier four i think um, um I, I believe it's because we do one two two three and then four right right so it sounds right yeah i think you'll have one of the first fourth round picks <clears throat> yeah i definitely was looking around at uh the tier four and i was like man there's not a whole lot going on in this tier but i hope i can work it out some way um, but uh, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Like, like literally, like I've, I've took some trash to playoffs before, <laughs> man. So, like, it's not like I'm. I mean, hey, man. Uh, I remember back in season two of the TPO, like the MVP was Sock. Okay, like, like that was like my best Pokemon, and somehow I managed in the playoffs. So somehow, no matter what I'm doing, we'll make it work, and we have one hell of a first round pick in Escadrille to start the team off right. Yeah, that's a, that's a crazy Pokemon to have as an MVP, too. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, what is your favorite battle strategy? My favorite battle strat, um, man, I just I just gather information. Like, I want to know my opponent's items as soon as I can. Uh, I want to memorize my speed tiers so I know if I have speed control, if he has speed control. Um, you know, I want to I really focus on, like, the 1v1 strat, you know what I'm saying? Like... I'm not really one to set up too much, but um, I know what answers can, like when I'm, when I'm going for a draft league, preparing for a team, I try to say like, what are my answers for this? What are my answers for that? Just just normal, uh, mm -hmm. what's the thing that my opponent just, he doesn't have too many answers for, that's, that's the mod I wanna focus on too much, or I might leave that Pokemon in the back for like a last minute, last ditch effort, trying to clean up in case things get rough. I also like to keep a couple um, get out of jail free cards in the back pocket. Um, uh, just an example in season two of TPL, my boy Sock ran sturdy every week to shut down a potential sweep my opponent was bringing, and um, it bailed me out of a lot of hairy situations, man. Okay, I got you. So pre prepare for anything and everything. Yeah, pretty much. Man. <laughs> Is there a specific mon you're trying to get to fill your strategy? Man, I'm just trying to get a sand setter right now. I haven't looked at the tiers too much, man. Like that's why I was asking about uh, about uh, when draft was in the chat because uh, pretty much aside from Excadrill, I don't really have too much of a plan. Um, obviously, I want to get some other interesting things to help um, round out the team, help cover Excadrill's weaknesses. A sand setter would be nice, but it's not exactly. Uh, needed 100% with the Dynamax meta, but mm -hmm. I definitely don't want uh, Excadrill to be uh, I don't want my team to be a one-trick pony with the Excadrill. I want to build I want my team to have a couple couple good threats that my opponent uh, is going to have to worry about. Alright, and uh, as you say, there's a lot of new faces, but a lot of old faces. Is there anyone you're uh, looking to battle in PML? Uh, yeah, I am. I actually got put in with a couple put in the same division with a couple of uh, uh, some scheming rivals. I have Matthew uh, Badass Frostlast who pretty much uh, has been helping me get through uh, TPL Season 3. He's a great guy, great battler. Um, only problem is I haven't beat him yet, so <laughs> it's going to be interesting. No, he, he's a great battler, man. Um, really hard to beat, and I've seen him take um, unorthodox teams and just absolutely manhandle and mollywop the opposition and then you got ryan right there ryan being uh, matthew's friend um he's a great battler i've seen these two uh go toe-to-toe -to -toe in uh, 
other draft leagues and man it's always a great battle and it's always a uh, slim you never really know who's going to win until the last minute with those two because they're just very high level opponents and um so um it's kind of like uh i'm dreading being in the same division but at the same time you know i get to I get to fight against uh guys that i, I know and uh that's going to be pretty dope and i'm always looking forward to um uh go toe to toe with my boy anthony you know that's that's family uh savannah sharpedo swag we out here <laughs> um, but uh you know i always give him some heck whenever we play so i'm looking forward to that matchup if we meet in the league all right well i'm certainly excited to have all you guys here from tpo who decided to join in and um is there anything else you want to say to the fans before we go uh hey you know Augusta Agron's we shooting for playoffs, all right? And the team is always going to be built sturdy. And I'll catch you guys on week one. All righty, man. Well, you have a good day, and I'll catch you guys later.